Nah, he's he's small. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, he's too small. Whoa! Yeah, solid. Solid. Let me get down here and lip him. Of course, people on my YouTube start crying and jump. That's a fat short, though. We need his bigger brother to come back. Yeah, you had him. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Nice fish, man. Nice. It is a micro. I'm, I'm gonna get down there and land him. You can come right there where you at? Huh? He's short. I just got it on like this because I'm just trying to test out this leader. I don't want people on my uh, YouTube crying because they cause they think like when I'm snook fishing, you know how when we up there and people just snatch them all the way up here yeah. and sometimes they get banged up on the rocks. Yeah. So I just try to keep all the confusion down, man. He was trying. Yeah, he was. He was trying. <laughs> He's still trying. Where did I land him at? Uh, I think I was right here on this rock. Yeah, I was about to say. Like you got it under. Yeah. No high stick in. Uh, gotta lip him like a bass. Another short. You got it right in the corner. Got it. Where? Right in front of us. Right where the stick were. <laughs> For real? Yep, right there. Freaking. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Alright. Cut that. We will get a lot. Alright y'all, so I'm here. The water is beautiful right now. These no seams are killing me right now though. But I got some live shrimp. And we're gonna see if we can get tight. Yo, I got this nice blank bro. It's a Bushido 7, 10, 15 to 30. VR75, 20 pound Invisibrate, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. Like, look at this thing, bro. This is sick. Like, this is really sick, y'all. I'm like really excited to use this rod. Well, we're gonna see if we can get tight, man. We're gonna see if we can get tight. Oh my God. Yeah, I see. Oh. Yeah. You seen that? He's got that lure with that. Damn. You seen how he came to the top and ate it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that felt good. That was a big one, though. Yeah, he was a, he was a big one, but dang. Huh? Yeah. That is wild. Just bumped him. Like, real bad. My baby's panicking. He's like, oh my god, oh my god. He's like, crazy. Come on, Dave. That was a lot of damn snook right there. This is day three, y'all, so stay tuned, man. Day one, I was fishing with me and my buddy Nick, and I think I caught three. And day two, yesterday, I caught, I didn't catch it. I didn't, honestly, I didn't catch it. So I had like a 34 inch snook. He came to the top and ate my free line shrimp. Like that was wild. And he went back down, set the hook. He ran in the jetty, or he ran close to the jetty, turned him around. He ran around the rock. I just stood there. I literally could have walked to the side and got my line off the rock. But I knew he was too big anyway. But this is day three, man. Hopefully, hopefully I can get tight. Just hopefully I can get tight. Cause it's about to get lit, man. It's really about to get lit. First day I was fishing with my eight, six, 12 to 25. Yesterday I was fishing with my 7, 10, 15 to 30 SWB uh, Bushido. They're both Bushidos. And today I'm fishing with my 7, 10 again. I need to pull up a nice snook on my 7, 10, y'all. Ty's literally about to switch to outgoing. So stay tuned, y'all, man. I hope. I really hope we're gonna get tight, man. I hope we're gonna get tight. I don't wanna talk about it. Watch out. Oh, shit. I'm 
coming back. Excuse me, coming back. That Bushido, that 7, 10, 15, 30. Hey, Jalen, oh, you over, you over, you over. Let like, go over. Oh, your line coming with mine. Hey, rip, rip. Hey, get him off. Yeah, but that line is something right there. He on the rock, man. Yeah, he on the rock. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, man. He didn't come off. He just came off the hook. Why do they keep doing that? Side line. <laughs> Dang, I cut him out. That was a big fish. I don't know what that was. I don't think that was a snook. Probably. Huh? Sort of, but not really. Man, let me tell you, man, it was probably at least 500 snook just sitting down there, like all over the place. But they were locked jaw because they were like six or seven, 300 pound grouper in every pot. Like it was ridiculous. And then when you did get hooked up, like people were getting grouper like left and right. So it was a tough bite. I mean, fishing is not always great. It's always good to get out the house, but the fishing wasn't great. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video, man. I know it, it kind of sucked. I didn't get like those fish up, but I mean, fishing is not always, you know, sunny. Peaches and cream, Gucci, whatever y'all want to see. But stay tuned for the next video. I really appreciate y'all. Man, it's day four. Day four. I shouldn't say. Day four, but the fourth time I'm using live bait. So, I'm not gonna talk y'all to death. We about to get into it, man. We definitely about to get into it. I got two buckets full of bait. Two buckets full of bait. We're gonna see if we can get on them, y'all. <laughs> oh, he dumped them and let them go. <laughs> oh my god. Dang, bro. Finally, man. Woo wee.
What the heck, bro? That was a good one. Damn. That was a good one, bro. <laughs> At least you know it wasn't me. Dang, bro. Might be these hooks. Might be the hooks, man. That was a little, that was a little, that was a little snook. Yeah, he got away. Huh? Yeah. That boy got away. All right, y'all, I had to get out of there, man. I had like five, five bites, three hookups. And I hooked, I hooked three, okay. Two of them got away, caught one. We oh, yeah, had, wind was blowing like 22 out of the east. Try to throw your bait out, bait wouldn't get to the bottom quick enough. The seagulls were grabbing it, man. So I was like, you know what? And then I had to be going by like 12.30. So I mean, like, you know, I mean, it happens, man. It's fishing. Every day is not gonna be great. But I hope you guys enjoy this and stay tuned for the next video because once I post the next video, it's gonna be all put together or I'm not gonna post it. Yeah, and I tried these new hooks out and surprisingly, when I put on like my old faithfuls, man, they wouldn't, they wouldn't like touch it. They wouldn't touch my bait. And as soon as I put back on the other hook, they'll bite. But when I try to set the hook, man, it just, they will be stuck on the hook and then zzz, and then get away. Like, take off and just come right off. And that happened to me a couple times. Even like when my mahar got dumped, I felt the weight, set the hook, my hook come flying out the water. I didn't even really get to feel the fish. So, I don't know, man. If you guys have any hooks, I, I'm a J hook person. So, please don't, please don't comment any circle hooks. I don't, I'm not a circle hook kind of guy. So, if you guys know any circle hooks, not, man, any J hooks, Comment them below and I will try them out. Thank you.